Being able to bounce back from some adverse situations and times has helped us in the past, and uh, I'm looking for that to continue in 2014 and as we continue to build this program in the future. So um, I just want to know that when we walk out of these halls, out of these doors, that we've got each other's back in uh, every type of situation that we get into, uh, whether it be on the field or, you know, if uh, someone's in a uh, wrong place at the wrong time, um, you know, where these young men can lean on each other and, and can lean on us as coaches and know that we're a family and, and uh, together that we can achieve great things. During camp, staying healthy is key, meaning the athletic training staff are the unsung hero, often arriving hours before practice begins and leaving hours after the final whistle. During this time of camp, there's not a lot of rehab going on just due to the time standpoint. And of course, there's not a lot of orthopedic injuries as far as knee, elbow, ankle, things like that. A lot of it's more overused stuff, you know, they're sore, they're tight, uh, you know, their ankle may be a little inflamed or the knee may be a little inflamed. So it's more kind of modality stuff, whether it be getting in the whirlpool, a heat pack, stem, ultrasound, getting on the bike, um, getting stretched out, or any type of therapeutic uh, or manual treatment, or any type of massage techniques or anything like that. For many freshmen, this is their first opportunity to have the support of an athletic trainer to help them stay healthy through the grind. You have some that really are not quite sure what goes on in here, and then you've got some that, you know, uh, may be kind of uh, amazed at everything to want to come in for uh, a lot of stuff. Friday meant the arrival of full pads, another sign that the season is inching closer. The first day of pads brought the family drill with it, a drill based loosely on the Oklahoma drill, where a mock run play between the tackles takes place. Eating and nutrition is extremely important for on-field success. Offensive linemen are notorious for being some of the top eaters on the team. Might even take a piece of chicken. Get the full full deal. Looks good. Thank you, thank you. We got the uh, Cajun style chicken, a little jambalaya with the green beans and the corn. That's the first plate. Then I'm gonna set it off with a little pepperoni uh, pizza seasoned with a little Parmesan. And then for dessert, I got my cookies. That's round one. I might feel, try, hopefully that'll fill me up. Try to get as much of the main course as you can. You have layers. Yeah, layers of it. Layer it up. You're able to do. He said you get getting good with the um, cafeteria people. No. Told him, just tell them, just don't be shy. Put just, the big items yeah. at the bottom and then dunk like the, the beans and the, and the yeah. rice type stuff over it so it just falls in and fills the spaces. <laughs> he told me it, it's all going down the same place anyway, so. Yeah. 
doesn't matter if it's mixed. Yeah. So you might have a little piece of cobbler in there with a little corn or something like that. <laughs> so he, <laughs> key to success is come in with an open mind. <laughs> That's pretty good. Answer. You gotta come in like. You have an open mind. You have an open stomach. Yeah. Exactly. You got. You gotta be like, man. I want some chicken today, but they might have steak. But I'm gonna take it anyway. So you get your plates, you sit down. And then you breathe through your nose when you chew. Yeah, you know. There's levels to this, you know what I'm saying? And don't eat snacks. <laughs> don't eat snacks. Don't eat all day, amen. Yo, hey, whoa, no, whoa. Your mouth, boy. Boy. You want to eat that, man? Wide receivers See? don't eat anything in the cafeteria but cookies. I know, that's all they eat is cookies. And they want to take out. Yeah. It's not quite mama's kitchen cooking, but it'll do for four years. It's, it's actually pretty good. Anything with the all-you-can-eat buffet is good for Hercules. Yes, indeed. If it's free, take three. If it's free, take three. <laughs> Coach Williams always taught us that. Like every time I come in to eat, and it's like I see offensive alignment with four or three plates, and I only have like one. Eat all the food, take all the food. There's nothing left. Just some some big old huge boys. I seen them. I seen them. I seen them sit down one time, and the cafeteria ladies had to tell them to leave. <laughs> so I like to go get me a glass of water and a glass of some kind of juice. I drink the water before to try to fill me up a little bit so I don't eat as much because you know it's in season. Then I get my little flavor when I'm eating the meat. Right hey man, you gonna take it? Uh, everybody I'll always take it on Camp culminates on Sunday with the first scrimmage of the fall. Play smart, play with great effort. Everybody understanding? Yes, sir. Great effort. If you're on the special teams, you should know where you're at. I shouldn't have to call for you. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Break those in there in a minute, okay? Yes, sir. All right, baby. It's step as a family. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Family on what time? What time? Family. Hey, let go, big O. Yeah. Let go, yeah. BD. Young boy, Got you. Let's go.